How's it going, YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse. I'm hoping to end my drought in a flash. In fact, with this flash, this box of red flash, box number four out of 20, it's been a long three boxes so far, but I really have a good feeling that I'm finally going to break the streak of negativity that I've been experiencing thus far with my red flash booster boxes. I'm going to smash right through and pull something really nice out of this one. Here goes. Let's see what we can do. Put that back. Also combating a very interesting bug in my room right now where I'm filming. So we get a Galade Hollow. Or Galade. So I apologize if suddenly I vanish in an effort to vanquish my new adversary. But I will not and we'll try not to keep it from affecting this opening as we speed right through, get a burning energy at the end of that. I'm actually packing a uh, an electric bug zapper, like in the shape of a tennis racket, like a fly swatter. I'm going to use it for situations just like this. Ooh, it's a Houndoom EX. Very nice. And you know what? I think I have my topic of conversation for, for this box, for box four of Red Flash. There are a few people who are not very well versed in what I do here, and my style of openings. And they say, I should be more like this person, or that person. They say, you've got good cards, why are you not getting excited? Uh, because I'm genuine with my excitement. And I'm not to say that people that are you know, not necessarily off the wall, but get really jazzed for pulling particular cards all the time. It kind of burns out the sensors for me. And I also don't want to force my emotions when I'm opening booster boxes. That way you know that any reaction that you get from me is genuine. I'm never putting on a show, per se. When I pull a good card, and I express my admiration for it, you know that I'm being real with you. You know that I'm not putting on at all. As we get another Mewtwo EX, for the sake of, well, I'm filming, so I might as well, you know, freak out. And some people don't care for that, and for that I'm sorry that I'm not your cup of tea. But I'm not a terribly excitable human being in the first place, and I would rather deliver consistent and prepared and knowledgeable content then blow my top when I pull, let's say, like a Mewtwo for the umpteenth time. Yeah, it's cool, it's a Mewtwo. I'm excited that I have it, but I'm not going to have that be a manifestation of, oh, wow, golly, this is the most amazing thing ever, kind of thing. It's just not who I am. And with that, we're already, like, halfway through the box. And I guess that's not something that you can necessarily leave a comment on and discuss. But I don't know, maybe it is. Here we have a Heavy Ball, Seeking, Mr. Mime, Piplup, and Parasect. Suppose I should probably just focus on the opening. We are in the middle of a drought here. Marowak, Piplup, Mr. Mime, Panseer, and Staraptor. It has been an awful lot of packs since we pulled our last full art. Almost a hundred at this point. So we get a Bronzong, a Doduo, Cresselia, a Pan sorry, Simiseer, and a Magnazone Hollow. And also on my eighth box and have not pulled an Ultra Rare at all either, neither of the Mewtwo's. And I get the feeling that since there's only one Ultra Rare... Did I do the card trick right? I hope so. Since there's only one Ultra Rare, it's probably back to the one in every six to eight boxes, or maybe even more. But that remains to be seen. As we get a Mega Mewtwo EX Y version. Good stuff. What's up there, Mewtwo? You and your Psychic Infinity. So there's probably going to be a break card left and maybe 
just maybe, we're finally going to get our full art. Prinplup, Zorua, Ralts, Staryu, and Houndoom Spirit Link. If we don't get a full art here, and I'm two for eight going into these boxes, uh, regardless of how the recovery goes, I can pretty much guarantee that I'll be blown away when I finally, finally break it. Oh, wow. That is the ultra rare Mewtwo, as you can tell by the gold border right there. Mewtwo, EX, Ultra Rare, Shiny, and Friends. So you can see the Magnezone and the Cresselia and the Chestnut all from this set are in the background. This is one way to, to finally kick off my Red Flash Secret Rare and Ultra Rare pulls. And if you were skeptical as to whether that was Ultra Rare or not, there's your evidence. 65 out of 59, Ultra Rare. Very nice. I like how Mewtwo stands out against the shine of the back. I do think it's too crowded for an Ultra Rare. Uh, I think I prefer this one to the other one, but I would probably prefer they take this in a different direction in the future. I don't know, maybe you're really excited about it. Maybe you love this card, and I like this card, and I'm thrilled to have it because it means I don't have to go out and buy it, and... I mean, it's a great card, and this box certainly didn't need this card. It could have not had it. Could be over four, but that's not the case. Said we get an ultra rare, and I don't know. I guess I just like him to make him a little bit different. So excuse me if I uh, if I don't absolutely bounce off the walls for joy for an ultra rare Mewtwo. But trust me, I'm excited. I'm happy I have this card. It is really neat. And it's definitely an inventive design as well. It's not your run-of-the-mill, I'm going to mail it in kind of design of a card. They put some thought into it, and they tried something different. And I wouldn't necessarily give it a 10 out of 10, but I like them to take risks when they make cards like that. So I don't know, that's my thought on the matter. Anywho, finishing up this box, this box of redemption, this box of surprise. Got two more packs to go, this one and the next one. I'm going to laugh my ass off if there's a chestnut break in not this pack, but the next one. That would be pretty hilarious. So we get a Go Goat Sinking Chespin Mistrevis and a regular <laughs> chestnut. It's like a nice little reminder, hey, I could have come in the last pack to troll you, but I didn't. So it looks like we probably avoided that. Do we not pull a break card? I don't think we pulled a break card in this box. Unless we did and I just forgot about it. Bronzong, Chespin, Simi Seer, uh, Spritzy. <laughs> there you are. You know, I've been looking all over for you. Why do you... <laughs> Why are you always in the last friggin' pack? I don't understand you, Chestnut. I don't understand your tough hammer. I just don't understand you. Anyways. Kudos to this box of Red Flash for finally delivering on something that I was starting to be very concerned about. And kudos to you guys for watching. Because I appreciate the fact that you're here, and that's amazing. Holographic pulls in this part were Gallade, Raikou, Empoleon, Magnezone, Chestnut. Got the Chestnut break right there. Houndoom EX, Mewtwo EX, Mega Mewtwo EX, and Mewtwo EX, Ultra Rare, Gold Border, and his buddies. That's going right into the collection for sure, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, if you're enjoying the polls. And remember, boxes five of Blue Shock, Box 5 of Red Flash, both going to be on my channel tomorrow, so make sure you subscribe because you will not want to miss it.